In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do a push up with stability ball. This is a great exercise that activates the chest and also the tricep. Also, it's a great beginner's exercise to help pr progress in doing an actual push up. So, when doing this exercise, first thing you want to do is go ahead and carefully roll out on the ball. Now, I want to show you different variations of this exercise because this is a beginner's exercise. And when doing this exercise, there's multiple progressions. Now, let's say I'm a novice. I never did a push-up in my life. Very beginner. That means I have weak muscle groups like the core, chest, and triceps. So doing the, the push-up or the exercise on stability ball is going to give me assistance so I can become strong enough to do the actual real push-up. All right? So when doing the exercise, I want to start off at mid-thigh. When in starting position, first thing you want to do, or first thing you don't want to do is drop your chest and then perform the push-up. Also, you don't want to do the push-up and flare out your elbows like this, okay? What you want to do is keep the chest up, all right? Really activate that core, keep the elbows in, and perform the push-up like this, all right? So this is a great exercise if you're a beginner and never did a push-up in your life. When doing this exercise, from time to time, or if I put this exercise into your program, then um, this that means I want you to gradually build up to that push-up. Now, let's say, you, you, like the first week you did this push-up, and you're doing my program, and I put this exercise into your program, and you message me, hey, Corinne, this exercise is pretty easy. I did it first week, I did it second week. It's pretty easy, how can I progress? So, if you're watching this video, this is how you're gonna progress in this workout. I'm gonna go ahead and roll the ball out just a little bit more because I don't wanna fall out of frame. But the next progression will be to the laces. Like I said, the more further out you are, the harder it's gonna be. Even in, in the starting position, I feel a lot more core activation. So, the same rules apply before starting the exercise. Don't drop the chest and flare the elbows out, okay? Keep chest up, keep elbows in, core activated. Then start performing the exercise, okay? So, this is like phase two, the next step of the progression of doing this exercise, okay? Now, let's say I want to make this exercise even more challenging. Now, I, I personally believe if you're able to do these next progressions, then you're definitely capable of doing the real push-up, okay? So like I said, I wanna start off here because I don't wanna fall out of frame when I'm showing you the exercise. Roll out to my laces, but I wanna put my toes on top, okay? Now, What's real challenging about this is my core is activated, but I have to keep the ball stable underneath my toes, okay? This is phase three, all right? The next progression. And then the last progression, which is, I always say this is more for fun. One toe up, a lot more stability, a lot more core activation. Oh, whoo, those are tough, okay? But like I said, if you're able to do the last two progressions, then you're definitely capable of doing the actual push-up. But as you, as you saw, this is a great beginner's exercise that you can start from as a novice and slowly strengthen up the core, the chest, and the triceps so you're able to do even harder and more progressive exercise. But, this is how you do a push-up with a stability ball. 